Alright, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim um, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today we are going to learn the Some of the Yang kata apa uh, The topics that we are going to cover Before we celebrate raya uh, Topic 5 dengan 6 uh, Managing change and innovation Another thing is Motivating and rewarding employees If I'm not sure If I'm not mistaken lah So, managing change and innovation ni uh, This is the topic yang mana kita akan tengok uh, how a manager ataupun uh, in general how the top manager ataupun CEO uh, can do in order to change the organization not necessarily the product tapi dia ada banyak banyak factors that they have to think of Okay, uh, for example, bukan setakat nak 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 change uh, the way the production uh, process, tapi mungkin juga nak change the organizational structure. Uh, the company also uh, needs to change how it has yang kata apa, the standards of procedures apa semua tu. So that's why um, uh, this is the chapter that akan serve those purposes. Okay, how to manage change and innovation. So kat sini first change perubahan whatever any kind. Uh, whatever kind of uh, changes are necessary okay in terms of uh, organizational punya uh, shift uh, towards a better place in the future and then kita cakap pasal innovation um, how a company uh, manage its innovation and the punya innovative focus kat situ alright so so organization uh, organizational change can be defined as uh, any alteration of an organization's people, structure or technology. It is a reality that every firm has to go through to maintain its relevancy in this dynamic, opting to stay uh, as it is could be risky, opting to stay as it is to be risky if the manager's ego is on the prowl. Okay, WTF ni typo, not typo lah. I forgot to edit that out. Okay, ignore this WTF. Okay, um... Uh, in reality, every company in this world needs to change. Okay, you cannot, you cannot stay where you are if you want to progress for another twenty years. Okay, if you look at many old companies, okay, macam Coca Cola, macam uh, Hershey's, macam Levi's, apa semua tu, those companies, okay, they they went through a series of organ uh, organizational punya shift in order to maintain it, uh, their relevancy dekat dalam uh, current market. Sebab apa? Kita kena tengok teknologi. Kita kena tengok how people behave. Kita bukan sekat tengok on the production level tapi kita kena tengok on the management level. Okay? Administration apa semua tu kita kena tengok. Sebab kadang-kadang kadang -kadang kita nak cakap macam ni kalau kita berada di takut yang lama kita tak akan dapat berubah. So we have to change in order to progress further. Alright, so for example is Nokia. Nokia macam mana? It, it was once, I'm not sure that uh, by the time you age maybe 10, standard 4 ataupun standard 5, um, most probably masa tu you dah tak tahu Nokia. I don't, I'm not even sure lah, tak sure awak umur berapa dah jadi 5 dah jam 4 tu kan. Okay, but when I was 10, the most, uh, orang kata apa, the most popular um, brand of phone is Nokia. Okay, dia macam kalau ikut, uh, kalau ikut masa zaman saya dulu, Nokia is the apple of, um, orang kata apa, uh, dia orang kata the it phone lah, the it phone. Okay, in which kalau you tak ada Nokia, kau siapa? Aku tak kenal kau, okay? I don't speak bro. Those kind of things. So, kenapa sekarang ni Nokia has no longer uh, had any place uh, in fans punya heart? Okay, sebab they refuse to go uh, ataupun to change. Uh, Google once offered Nokia to go for Android operating system but then they felt like uh, they felt the the company felt like they they did not need to change okay they just maintain with the uh, Symbian operating system apa semua tu okay and up uh, it, it, it it all started first with uh, kata apa Android punya revolution and then tak lama lepas tu ada pula iOS which is coming from an iPhone lah perkenalkan in 2007 apa semua tu so by the time ada iPhone tu the Nokia punya market share tu sangat-sangat lah kurang okay it first it was first dominated um, Android punya models okay specifically Samsung and then baru iOS masuk uh, iOS masuk they compete with the Android so and then the orang kata apa uh, the company that used to have a large market share a chunk a big chunk or a big chunk of market share dia dah tak dah tak banyak ada Nokia sebab apa dia uh, it's refusal to change to uh, to go further 
Okay uh, So Tapi end up sekarang ni, sekarang ni Macam uh, The company is trying so hard To uh, Kata apa To capture the market by uh, Instilling Ataupun uh, Using Ataupun uh, Making agreement Between Android dengan Dia punya uh, uh, Smartphone company tu Just to Kata apa make, uh, Meet the profit end Okay So um, So organizational change May be in three categories Okay These are the categories Structure, technology and people Structure change Structural change Authority relationships Coordinating mechanisms Job redesign And space of control So authority relationship ni macam mana That how How can you regularly Contoh lah the, the, the simplest example Kalau kita cakap pasal authority relationship is Um How how frequent can you meet your big boss? Okay, kadang-kadang um, Kata apa, dia punya boss kat situ Very, very, uh, very, very busy Sampai you tak boleh jumpa Tapi, even though you tak boleh jumpa Tapi you still boleh jumpa uh, Tak boleh jumpa, orang kata apa Within office hours You still boleh jumpa uh, Outside the working hours Okay, tapi still jumpa kat office kedai Apa semualah So, tengok kat situ your, The authority relationship Macam, kadang-kadang ada je CEO Yang macam dia tak bother nak jumpa Apa semua But it just keeps on Orang uh, kata apa Emphasizing The profit punya factor Okay, the higher the profit The The more you will be rewarded uh, Ada relationship macam tu Tapi Kadang-kadang bila ada uh, kata apa, Bila ada boss baru Nak masuk dalam company tu uh, Dia akan tukar uh, How that company behave In a way that Macam kadang-kadang um, uh, Bukanlah kadang-kadang Selalunya Bila nak berubah tu Jadi susah Sebab Dia punya orang bawahan Dah biasa dengan Keadaan yang Orang kata apa Tak boleh jumpa boss Tak boleh luar apa semua tu So sekarang ni macam uh, the, the CEO is currently Instilling the value of uh, Meeting uh, Orang kata apa With that kind of authority Frequently Okay And then kita ada Coordinating uh, mechanisms Okay You check Okay kalau previously Human resource Like literally Um, kata apa Choose um, Kata apa Payroll uh, Manage the payroll Manage the um, Kata apa Leaves Okay And then Attendance record Apa semua Tapi sekarang uh, uh, The company tu kata apa The manager cakap Top manager cakap Okay in order to reduce cost HR now can use um, Kata apa uh, Have the total control of Hiring new employees Okay So kat situ je lah uh, Maksudnya adalah um, Kata apa Change in uh, Structure punya System Okay And then kita ada Job redesign Job redesign ni macam uh, How 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 you make Contohnya uh, How you make someone's uh, Task To be more Kata apa uh, Desirable Okay To to be uh, Seem to be uh, Little more uh, Little more Important ke Macam tu lah Okay and then Space of control Space of control ni uh, To what certain uh, apa, To 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 what extent of degree That you can control Um, this um, Kata apa Department Let's say Kalau before this um, Maybe dalam 2-3 sub department je Now The top manager cakap Okay This manager This media manager You have to Instead of controlling 3 uh, sub department Maybe ada lagi Tambah lagi 3 punya uh, Division So in total Kena jaga 6 uh, Nampak tak That is um, Kata apa Spence of control Okay So in terms of Technology pula Okay Settle bab, bab structure Um If we talk about technology, work processes, uh, work methods and equipment. Okay, this one technology ni uh, berkait rapat dengan, uh, kata apa, uh, berkait rapat dengan the production punya level. Okay, setiap company, kalau contohnya manufacturing company, every company ada dia punya produk kan. Regardless of uh, service ke apa ke Kalau service kita tak ada Yang kata apa Literal Literal factory lah But then Dia ada academy ke apa ke Contohnya macam Asia kan Yang uh, kata apa uh, Aviation punya industri Dia ada academy of uh, Apa Becoming flight attendant ke Becoming a pilot ke Becoming Whoever uh, that, that aviation company needs Okay Ada academy dia So kalau macam kita cakap Pasal manufacturing companies Contohnya macam Yang um, kata apa uh, Juice producer Okay Contohnya macam Marigold Macam Vitagen Apa semua tu Okay Kena tengok lah Kena change Based on uh, Technology Under dia ada apa Work processes Okay Contohnya If you If you If you go further In your studies nanti Akan ada Satu topik ni Atau satu subjek ni Nama operations management In which you will learn Okay How Uh, uh, transferring from one station to one station Can enhance the productivity Also enhance the profitability of the company So dia boleh kurangkan kos kat situ So kat sini kata kalau buat proses Contohnya uh, Sekarang ni uh, uh, Kalau you buat air kan okay, uh, Kilang tu kilang marigold uh, Dia kata apa Before 
um, uh, kena kena pasteurize je angkat apa bukan pasteurize lah rasanya kena pasteurize lah kot buah dia kan nak bagi bersih kan uh, this in fact this in fact I'm not sure lah bersihkan lah buah tu apa semua kan okay let's say uh, angkat apa first step is this in fact and then baru basuh and then terus uh, angkat apa uh, terus uh, hancurkan buah apa semua tu tapi it may be uh, in the future that there there's a technology in which uh, bila tengah basuh buah tu dah terus boleh blender okay without without having uh, kata apa dangerous chemical that can affect the process okay boleh terus jadi produce uh, orang kata apa the, the production becomes uh, a little bit faster lah sebab they they eliminate uh, the process of cleaning the fruits dengan uh, kata apa pulverizing the fruits uh, nampak tak so macam di start daripada basuh tu orang kata apa disinfect the fruits tu terus jadi uh, juice okay faham tak okay Pro- work processes so uh, and then kita ada apa lagi work methods kalau work method Cara kerja Okay Tengok lah cara kerja macam mana uh, One thing about work matters is When you come to office Okay Kadang-kadang ada company uh, Dia ada provide overtime Tapi uh, Selalu overtime after working hours So in order to tackle the issue In which um, Kadang-kadang uh, Ramai je staff yang akan datang lambat Okay, bila ramai staff datang lambat Maksudnya dia tak adalah lambat as in Kalau masuk pukul 8, dia masuk pukul 8, 5 minit No, kalau pukul 8, pukul 8 lah dia masuk Okay, in order to tackle the issue Okay, in, in order to uh, and, um, kata apa, Encourage the workers to come early to the work So, dia kata apa, kalau you datang awal Akan dikira overtime juga So, nanti start pukul 8 tu Regular working hours lah So, how how to attract people tu kat situ Macam tu um, Kata apa um, Kata apa Encourage In terms of benefit Apa semua Okay So, and then equipment Okay, peralatan tu sendiri Contohnya uh, Mesin penghancur buah ke Mesin nak nak picit buah ke Mesin nak picit jus Apa semua tu Okay, benda-benda macam tu lah Teknologi Kena tengok Jangan macam Oh, it's 2020 Okay, cara nak perah uh, Perah Perah jus tebu tu uh, Guna lembu Okay, so Lembu pusing Buat macam uh, Pusing satu bulatan Okay Nak bagi pusingkan dia punya Orang kata apa Tuas apa semua Tak faham lah Bukanlah tak faham Maksudnya tak tahu Term siapa tu kan Okay uh, Baru keluar air Okay Sekarang tak payah nak guna lembu Just guna mesin Pap 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 Dah settle Terus pecet jadi air tebu Okay uh, Itu maksudnya uh, Changes uh, In terms of equipment In technology uh, Technology ke punya part So moving on to people Okay uh, Ini yang paling penting ni Because it involves um, us Okay We ourselves Need change Kalau kita tak berubah Memang kita tak akan ke mana Kita Orang kata apa Kalau kita berada di takut yang sama Kita tak akan pergi ke mana-mana Okay So nanti Jadilah tempatnya Kalau macam kita jadi Kita ni air kan Okay Jadilah tempat nyamuk bertelur apa, Jadi tu jadi apa Nyamuk edis apa semua tu So Kalau in terms of people Kalau a company wants to change um, uh, It's people Not the, Not to change the personality Tapi To change the attitude Okay To change the expectation to change, to change the perceptions and also the behavior. Okay, kalau attitude. Uh, apa, apa, orang kata apa, a good example kalau macam attitude kan, okay. Uh, datang lambat, okay. Asal, uh, atas alasan, hantar anak pergi sekolah dulu. Lepas tu, start dekat traffic jam. Lepas tu, uh, bila balik pula, kalau datang dah lambat, balik kalau boleh nak on time, okay. No, 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 tak boleh. So, kena change uh, A manager has to have the creativity Ataupun has to have the skill needed In order to change the attitudes of the workers Sebab apa? Kalau datang lambat ni Sebenarnya it can affect your performance tau Even though you datang pukul 8 Masuk kerja by by 8, uh, 8 am But then you uh, you can uh, you came to work at 8.05 Okay, balik pun 5.05 Sebab nak cukup betul-betul 8 dan ke 9 jam tu Okay, tak boleh Sebab nanti punch kat tu sistem tu dia nampak dah Merah, oh you late, you late so nanti dia affect kita punya performance And then expectation Our expectations to the company Kita tak boleh nak We we cannot think negatively of our company Even though we hate that company so much We despise the structure We despise the manager We even hate the environment of the Orang kata apa work but we cannot orang kata apa kalau macam tu kalau semua benda dah benci, uh, benci kan uh, we cannot hate tu maksudnya macam kita kena we have we have orang kata apa have 
positive expectation that better better things will come. Tapi janganlah you dah 20 tahun bekerja tapi still rasa uh, benci kat company tu, okey? Tapi tak nak berhenti, kenalah tukar kerja. Okey, kita kalau kalau company tu tak nak berubah, kita sendiri yang cari jalan. Okey, tapi kalau kita still boleh put up with the yang kata apa? Uh, bad work culture, okey, tapi still it offers very handsome salary and wage punya payment apa semua tu kita boleh go on lah. Okay and then perceptions Last sekali behavior Behavior perangai kita Kalau perception ni Kita punya opinions On that company Kadang-kadang um, uh, We we uh, Kata apa Ada orang macam tau Dalam company um, There are group of people In which um, They will They will convey Ataupun They will do As if They work as if They are contributing To the company But in reality They are destituting The company Okay, ada kam- ada orang macam tu eh, bu- Nanti awak dah kerja, you tengok lah How that people, uh, orang kata apa uh, Work pattern macam mana, okay So, last kali behavior perangai Okay, these are the categories of Organizational change, okay So Moving on to why Why organizations need to change Okay Dia ada dua Kenapa company ni kena berubah Atau apa Organization has to change In accordance of time With respect of time There are two forces First is external The second one is internal Okay macam lah The internal economic apa Internal environment Dengan external environment Lebih kurang lah So kalau external forces The marketplace Okay kita tak boleh nak berubah Even though macam uh, uh, Kata apa Orang dah uh, Uh, tengoklah macam brand-brand uh, baju rap apa Prima Vele lah Liana Rahman Elrah Exclusive whatever kind of brands that they are outside uh, apa uh, around Bangi kat situ kan okay you tengok kat situ dia punya marketplace change and the uh, market forces the the current trends sekarang contohnya that there, there, there was one season that people want to for, apa want to buy for fur okay bulu palsu so company pun kena ikut lah trend tu macam tak boleh lah nak stick to the same design of baju raya kalau tak kalau uh, kalau dia tak nak ikut dia rugilah okay it can play with both ada orang macam suka unique ada orang tak suka follow trend ada orang suka follow trends kita tengok yang mana akan datangkan kelebihan kepada kita i'm not saying that changing is ah uh, kata apa uh, changes frequent changes are necessary tapi once once in the blue moon you have you need to change lah Okay, and then kita ada government laws and regulations. Kita tengok macam company kan yang baru-baru ni. Uh, kenapa SOP berubah disebabkan PKPB. Amalkan penjarakan sosial. Amalkan, um, uh, 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 apa, amalkan, uh, rajinkan basuh tangan. Basuh apa semua. Okay, pakai, pakai penutup muka, pakai penutup mulut apa semua tu. Okay, so you have to, ga, uh, apa, company has to follow lah. Provide uh, facial mask. Provide hand sanitizer Make sure that distance between one employee To one uh, to another employee is one meter Okay, kena tengok kat situ So, you have to change lah Kena ikut Kalau tak, there will be a severe legal action Will be taken on you Alright And then, kita ada technological upgrade If you if you want to talk about technological upgrade macam saya cakap tadi uh, categories of changes kan technological upgrade if if there is a uh, if you are uh, making chocolate kan okay you want chocolate uh, sebelum ni buat guna apa uh, 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 buat guna macam bekas kayu ke papan ke I don't know I really don't know maybe you are so traditional guna yang macam beli second hand punya uh, machinery tapi once you have expanded your uh, profitability ada banyak revenue you have a lot of uh, investment ataupun fund untuk expand the company apa salahnya beli sahaja benda baru tu ok mana tahu it can enhance the production tengok you can meet the demand ok and then you enhance the production so outsell outsell uh, kata apa The, the products that you have produced So nanti dapat lah uh, Earn higher revenue Okay I Higher revenue Ada Higher profit Okay Kena tengok lah kat situ Cost dia macam mana Okay We just ignore that cost Okay And then Labor market conditions Okay Kenapa Labor ni Labor market conditions ni Is affected Orang kata apa Is one of the forces In organizational change Okay, tengoklah Kadang-kadang bukan setakat on uh, How the uh, structure of the market Cik, Tengoklah Kalau macam satu company Ada company yang dia macam uh, Sekarang ni banyak graduan yang Opt for Atau have a choice Where They have the Capacity of doing research 
Bila do research Banyaklah company akan hire uh, Research assistant Okay kalau macam banyak Graduan daripada yang uh, Skill punya part Contohnya macam Kerja-kerja kilang ke apa ke Ataupun not Not, not, not kerja kilang Maksudnya Kerja yang um, Kerja macam engineer ke Macam doktor ke apa ke Tengok lambatkan kat situ oh, A company Uh, macam kita nak uh, belajar dalam planning kan A company may have different Orang kata apa group companies kat situ Macam in uh, apa uh, in tech sendiri In tech sendiri under UITM Holdings UITM Holdings ada UITM Private Specialist Center Hospital UITM Kita ada in tech Kita ada energy apa semua Solar power semua tu So maksudnya Tengok kalau macam oh uh, Tengok dekat market analysis Labor market analysis Tengok Oh sekarang ni ramai graduan engineer So what can, can, uh, what can you do You hire more Uh, lecturers ataupun uh, apa engineers punya graduate and then you hire them and then you offer dekat market untuk for students tu ah uh, kata apa we provide a good education engineering education so students who are interested may apply ha, nampak tak how it works Okay, so labor market condition is one of the examples in external forces ataupun one of the forces in uh, externally okay sorry and then economic wellness okay kalau, uh, kalau kata apa Kalau kita tengok Bila Keadaan Ekonomi semasa Bukannya satu company Yang affected The whole The same industry tu Ataupun uh, The whole nation Is experiencing Downturn So Macam mana kita nak berubah Macam mana kita nak Maintain our profit Okay Ataupun Reduce the 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 losses Of our company uh, In in the time of um, This economy Orang kata apa Economy Uh, downturn ataupun economic recession apa semua tu Okay macam mana kita tak tengok uh, Kenalah mana- masa tu lah The role of manager is more prevalent Okay you need to uh, You need to You need to be aware lah okay, Kena pandai-pandai uh, Kata apa uh, manage Risk management ke financial management ke Semua berganding bahu Bekerja just to produce uh, Kata apa just to come up with a good policy Of organisational Okay when it comes to economic uh, changes Okay So settle But above external forces So moving on to internal forces Kita ada apa? Organization strategy Workforce composition And employees attitudes Kalau organization strategy Tengoklah kalau strategy macam mana Okay we want uh, The strategy is We want to reduce our operating cost But we see that uh, In accordance to our, of our financial reports We see that the salary Has the highest amount of expense So what can we do? We reduce the workforce Okay uh, We reduce the workforce And then uh, We uh, we kata apa, The remaining staff here uh, The remaining staff in that company We uh, concentrate the uh, Roles and responsibility ha, Nampak itu dia punya organisation strategy Planning dia just to keep up with the profit Kurangkan pekerja And then enhance the role and uh, Responsibility of the workers Okay, that is what we see as the internal forces of organizational strategy. So the second uh, force uh, forces internally, the second internal force is workforce composition. Okay, kalau macam uh, kalau tengok eh, kadang-kadang kan bila there's a lot of employees in one department, there will be yang kata apa redundancy, inefficiency yang mana um uh, kata apa bila crowded sangat satu office tu Jadi kita nak buat kerja dengan official pun tak boleh Sebab we are sharing with other employees Okay, bila Another thing, kalau macam employees yang ramai sangat Okay, jadi kita macam Buat kerja pun sambil lewa Sebab ada orang lain boleh backup Okay, so kat situ Kena tengok lah workforce composition ni Tengok kena kurangkan ke apa Kena tambah ke So if there is a, a strong need to To hire dalam company tu uh, the, the new policy is what To to allow uh, To allow free allowance for uh, Workers okay through uh, uh, Transportation So macam mana tu be transportation Free transportation Hire lah beli banyak bus Hire banyak drivers So kat situ uh, Boleh bagi orang kata apa Ada free transportation uh, Cost provided by the company Okay So uh, Kena berita kat situ Tengok lah mungkin ada ramai uh, Orang kata apa uh, Salah Dulunya yang ambil bas-bas ni Yang yang pasti ramanya Ambil pekerja kilang So mungkin At the managerial level Ataupun administrative level uh, Dia punya workforce tu Boleh kurangkan Tapi in terms of production Punya level Boleh hire lagi ramai orang Okay Itu dia punya internal forces So in terms of workforce lah Okay and then the third one Is employees attitudes Perangai pekerja 
Okay Tengok dalam satu company tu Budaya kerja Bila satu company ni Dia punya The work culture Di 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 organization uh, Organization culture Tends to be the same Across all the employees Okay Walaupun orang tu Pekerja baru Dia masuk kat, kat, kat tempat kerja tu They say that I want to make change For this company Because I see that There's a lot of Demotivated workers So I am here So motivated So enlightened Okay I want to Make everyone realize That This job is so much fun Okay punyalah kita semangat By year 2 uh, By year 2 and 3 Of working at the same place You are joining the bandwagon Okay Feeling demotivated together Okay why? Ha, adalah sebabnya Kenapa feeling demotivated Okay there's there's a lot of reasons To be demotivated Dekat tempat kerja Not only uh, The 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 work comp- Not only the work um, Kata apa um, Not only responsibility yang kerja hati kita Tapi there's a lot of peripheral factors Walaupun peripheral tapi it is equally important Okay It affects substantially the kata apa, uh, The attitude of employees kat satu organisation tu Okay These are the uh, factors uh, leading to organisational change Okay Alright, so who can initiate organizational change? Okay, siapa yang boleh start this kind of uh, changes in organization? Anyone can initiate their organizational change. Okay, walaupun sekata-kata, setari kata uh, in terms of uh, kata apa, managerial level, okay? In terms of managerial level, uh, memang kerja-kerja top manager. Tapi you can you can initiate yourself, okay? In a way yang macam kita start sikit, macam kata apa, sikit-sikit lama, lama jadi bukit. Okay, no pain, no gain. So you have to start with uh, kata apa, uh, sikit-sikit dulu. Jangan kita nak terus... Uh, Jangan kita terus start dengan big mission okay? Itu kita panggil sebagai vision okay? Your vision, you are envisioning that Your company will be uh, As successful as other companies Given that your current mission tu Yang menentukan sama you boleh capai ke tak okay? So short term mission Short term goals, apa semua tu Tengok lah, maybe we can start by uh, encouraging, encouraging my colleagues To come early So how to emulate them okay? Tengok lah kita datang kerja awal kita punya perform setiap kerja kita siap So nanti orang lain akan rasa dia punya effect of um, apa, Going going work early ke go apa Doing your work efficiently ke Those kind of um, apa implication Will be uh, experienced by other colleagues indirectly Okay And then it means not only, uh, not only managers Not managers may start doing the change, change Given what is clear what is clear on, in one one's mind Okay Macam kalau kita at the non-managerial level, even though we we have no choice but to follow the regulation, kita boleh change masuk je macam, tengoklah macam uh, there's, I uh, have the experience eh, macam with one of your lecturers, I'm so, I'm so close uh, with her, okay, close to her, macam rapat lah kan, so macam, uh, one of my work culture ataupun uh, sebunya uh, sistem kerja, Every time before I go back home, I make sure that my questions, okay, in in all subjects can be added, uh, kalau boleh, satu atau dua. Okay, satu sehari waktu kerja tu. So, nanti, by the time of sending the draft of final exam tu, so macam tak tayang kabut. So, that's why bila uh, saya bagi tahu dia tu, that, uh, my friend tu, dia cakap macam, oh, so efficient apa semua. So, macam bila tengok tiba-tiba kerja dia, jadi pun cepat. So, we can emulate our colleagues, okay, with our behavior. Okay, given that, The mission is clear lah in, in our mind Kita tak boleh macam um, Tak tahulah Saya pun tak tahulah Macam mana saya buat Macam uh, Kalau uh, kalau akan nak buat Follow je lah Macam tu lah Benda macam tu lah Okay So Organisational change You can Start on your own Without Without um, kata apa, Tak payah nak tunggu You jadi manager pun You dah boleh uh, Initiate any changes Small changes Leads to a better um, Kata apa Better outcome Okay So Uh, that's that's that 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 is that on the uh in the initiation of organizational change okay so how does organizational change happen okay first is the calm waters metaphor okay uh ongkata apa ini part ni kita nak discuss pasal uh the metaphors of organization change dia punya transition from macam mana kita nak ubah uh, this type of this, this uh, apa this part kita nak tengok macam mana um uh Cara nak Nak ubah Orang kata apa Situasi Situasi nak ubah Dalam uh, Nak ubah Satu organisation tu Dia ada dua The calm waters metaphor Dengan uh, Mana Dengan white water rapids metaphor So kita tengok dekat uh, 
uh, the Come Waters metaphor. The Come Waters metaphor envisions the organization as a large ship crossing a calm sea. The ship's captain and crew know exactly where they are going because they have made the trip many times before. Change appears as the occasional storm, a brief distraction in an otherwise calm and predictable trip. So dekat sini, the calm waters metaphor ni, dia macam sesuatu yang dah rutin. Dia dah biasa sangat. But once in a while, you macam uh, benda tu dia, ingat tak yang kita macam the decision making tu, uh, apa program and non-program decisions. So the calm water uh, metaphor ni, it, it largely, orang kata apa, it is largely dealing with the program decisions, okay? But then kalau program decisions, we already know. Kalau macam dalam, dalam cakapan ni sendiri kan, uh, apa, ombak, badai, orang kata apa, uh, air laut bergelora. So what can the, uh, what apa the captain do? Uh, tengoklah macam dia boleh buat untuk pastikan kapal tu boleh belayar dengan elok. So macam kita dalam company, okay, benda ni dah biasa. We know the, from, from uh, the procedure from A to Z. Okay, but sometimes, from A to Z ni nak dekat tengah-tengah mobil mungkin dekat step number L, step L, step M ke apa semua ko uh, semua tu ada macam masalah. So kadang-kadang dia boleh jadi program decision, boleh jadi non program punya decision. Ah uh, uh, kita apa uh, unstructured problem ya. I'm not sure lah tak ingat lah pula kan. So maksudnya problem tu tak pernah jumpa. But then you have to um you have to change But then Those kind of problem Occasionally happen Dia bukan macam Oh uh, Tukar sikit Tiba-tiba ada masalah lain Tukar sikit ada masalah lain Tak Okay They one at a time Okay One at a time But the spread between One problem to another Dia punya tu jauh sikit So macam uh, the, the organization Has the time In or, or apa, Ada ada masa untuk Betulkan apa yang uh, Boleh dibetulkan Lepas orang kata apa The new The new problem is solved Okay sekarang orang kata apa um, Organization change to Dah uh, kata solve Boleh ada masa lagi Kita nak ubah sikit lagi Okay That is how Come waters metaphor works Okay So successful change Requires unfreezing And the status quo Changing to a new state And freezing the new change To make it permanent The status quo Can be considered An equilibrium state Unfreezing is necessary To move from this equilibrium And it can be achieved In one of the three ways so status quo ni maksudnya macam uh, you are complacent maksudnya dah dah selesa uh, kata apa uh, sitting at your position dalam company tu so any kind of change you refuse you kalau pun nak resist any kind of organizational change because you dah biasa dengan benda-benda macam tu uh, that is why kau status quo lah macam ah uh, uh, you are sitting at the right and then, and then the your place yang dah biasa ha okay, kat situ okay so uh, bila kita nak change this uh, apa this kind of behavior it requires what we call as unfreezing okay kita nak unfreeze dulu kita nak uh, orang kata apa macam kita sekarang ni kan we uh, waktu waktu coronavirus ni we are in a state that kita nak biasakan yang kita ni uh, dah tak boleh dah kalau boleh jangan bersalam dengan orang sebab apa it, uh, kita bila bersalam tu it uh, heightens up ataupun it increases the rate of getting infected with the COVID-19 punya virus so the new normal is like like what okay just macam tunjuk kata apa bukanlah mendabik dada macam mana macam letak tangan dekat dah dekat dekat letak tangan dekat dada lepas tu macam tunduk sikit uh, macam tu lah kaedah hanya so, so the new normal dekat situ uh, dia nak unfreeze maksudnya nak unfreezing dengan kita punya kita dah terbiasa dengan salam tu susah maksudnya kita kena practice practice makes perfect okey kena itu maksudnya unfreezing kita nak biasakan dulu orang kata apa dah tepu kita nak cairkan benda tu biarkan biasa so nanti at the stand of dia jadi liquid tu maksudnya macam very very kacau bila macam tak uh, tak stable dia dia macam jadi cecair macam tu lah kan okay? ada yang salam ada yang tak salam ada yang tak salam apa macam tu lah ada macam tu so kita nak tukar daripada uh, apa uh, dah tak biasa dengan salam tu kita nak betul-betul konsisten dengan jadi terus macam ok uh, tunduk tanya apa semua tu no more salam salaming ok uh, that kind of thing so itu maksudnya bila tak biasa kan tu kita, kita jadi balik uh, freezing so unfreezing uh, changes and then to um, what we call as uh, an, uh, freezing okay so um, apa ni ways of unfreezing okay so increase the driving forces which direct behavior away from the status quo and then decrease the restraining forces which hinder movement from the existing equilibrium ataupun boleh buat dua-dua 
okay this idea uh, unfreezing punya uh, how to unfreeze the status quo lah okay so inilah yang dimasukkan dengan uh, this the three step change process so unfreezing uh, dalam your textbook ada cakap pasal apa ya saya tak sure lah okay kalau macam pengalaman saya sendiri as a lecturer waktu-waktu macam ni okay um the concept of uh, having everything to be access uh, apa, access online okay sebelum ni memang kalau boleh nak 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 apa physical punya paper so macam uh, dah tu tulis kena print bila print kena photo state so banyak penggunaan kertas so dah biasa dengan benda tu but now we are moving toward uh, economic kata apa, environmental sustainability to keep the environment to be kata apa, uh, to keep the environment preserved so the future generation can consume Okay, so kita kena unfreeze tu lah. I have to unfreeze my 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 uh, condensed behavior of printing and photocopying uh, papers. Okay, so kadang-kadang macam proses unfreezing ni, uh, kadang-kadang okay, uh, instead of uh, printing, boleh jumpa online apa semua. So, dia akan ada kaca bilau semua tu. Okay, so nanti dekat merah ni changing lah. I am transitioning. Okay, dah biasakan sikit-sikit. Uh, orang kata apa, uh, buat benda-benda everything online, tapi kalau boleh, uh, ada jugalah yang uh, apa, uh, print sikit-sikit apa semua tu kan. Okay? So, lepas macam ni, terus naik ke refreezing. Okay, mengeras mula. Okay, uh, maksudnya macam biasakan Uh, betulkan yang biasa Biasakan yang betul ha, Macam tu lah Benda macam tu Okay uh, so That's why we need to change That is Calm, calm water metaphors Alright The first one The second one is The White water rapids metaphor Okay Ni senang je White water rapids metaphor ni It is the thing that Yang macam mana Macam you need to uh, Setiap Dalam kapal ni tu Dia beru- Dia sentiasa berubah tau Ingat tak yang yang the the driving factor of organisation change dia ada external dengan internal. Okay, external factors ni banyak. Economic wellness, uh, government laws, apa semua tu. So, jadi macam kalau ada satu company yang sikit-sikit kena ubah, sikit-sikit kena restructure, sikit-sikit kena change, sikit-sikit kena update apa semua tu. Okay, this is the place where the company needs to, orang kata apa, constantly change. White water rapids ni maksudnya air yang kawasan deras. Kalau yang macam berkaya, apa semua tu kan, kan sentiasa air tu berubah dia punya tu, dia, dia tak tenang. Okay, uh, kena ubah strategi. Kalau boleh macam macam tengah ubah strategi Fikir lagi strategi lain yang boleh diubah ha, Macam tu lah okay? Dia macam uh, perubahan tu sentiasa ada Sentiasa kena update benda baru Government punya regulation ada uh, uh, Apa lagi um, uh, Tengok harga minyak tak menentu kan Okay, bila harga minyak tak menentu uh, apa OPEC punya oil producer tu buat macam mana increase the production bila increase production tiba-tiba harga uh, orang tak nak beli pula minyak lepas tu kadang-kadang uh, COVID-19 kena berubah okay, dalam tu situasi macam water rapids lah baru nak tenang baru nak tenang sikit tiba-tiba dah ada change, uh, other changes ok this is what water rapids metaphor alright so So how to manage resistance to change Okay Tadi kita tengok macam Metaphors of Organization change Now we move on to uh, How to manage uh, Your employees Who doesn't want to Who don't want to change Okay Percayalah You know, you know employee employees Percayalah Percaya dalam In every company It, it is a, Orang kata apa It is a perfect world Kalau satu company tu Bila top manager rasa nak berubah Okay uh, Orang kata apa uh, Orang akan follow uh, That 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 will be a dream place For any managers lah Tapi macam kita kan belajar Apa Kita belajar kat sekolah Iman boleh bertambah dengan berkurang Kalau iman kita sendiri ni Boleh bertambah dengan kurang Apa tah lagi Dengan struktur company Yang dibuat oleh manusia Oh, kan Kena masuk tak sekiroh sikit Ya Allah Alhamdulillah Okay How to manage this Kadang-kadang Company ni Kita takkan tahu Sebenarnya dia buat tu For the betterment of us Or not Okay But then All in all We are powerless Okay We Okay we Okay Kalau collectively speaking Labor union memang kita powerful Tapi kadang-kadang macam Takkanlah perubahan sikit Kita tak nak pandang benda uh, apa Kita nak pandang semua benda yang berubah tu sebagai negatif Okay Tengoklah macam norma baru Macam Apa Untuk apa uh, Beraya 20 orang Apa salahnya beraya 20 orang kan Sikit-sikit Ambil turn Tak adalah orang tu Tuan rumah penat nak membasuh semua pinggan yang ada Nak kemar rumah uh, So just buat sikit-sikit Okay Ajak mungkin satu hari Satu family 5 orang 6 orang macam tu Okay settle lah 
Okay, kita we we look at things positively. Even myself, yeah. Um, there's a lot of things that have to criticize on the current government in terms of their tackling the COVID nineteen issues. Because mainly the the problem with current government is that what I see, um, the work of the Kementerian Kesihatan Malaysia KKM is far, um, people far significant than. Uh, all the talking and nonsensical on kata apa elements uh, provided by the ministers ada minister cakap tu ada minister cakap ni semuanya bercanggah ok baca tengoklah tengok macam government regulation cakap apa if you are not sick ok if you are sick barulah pakai penutup muka if you are not sick then don't wear don't don't wear one ok uh, tapi dikit sampai ada kedai-kedai dekat luar ni requires you to wear facial mask Okay, walaupun tak sakit ah, Nampak tak? Nampak tak? Orang kata apa Bercelaru dia punya arahan Okay, kan dah mengutuk kerajaan Sorry Okay, now Okay, how to manage those kind of resistance First Orang kata apa Reasons Okay, the, the reasons why uh, Resistance happen Kenapa orang Orang kata apa Refusal Refusal to change Is always prevalent Dalam mana company First, of course Uncertainty Tak tahu Macam You yourself Have no idea What is going on Okay, you yourself have no idea what is the real deal of that company, and then but but then you still want you you still don't want to change. Okay, dia tak tahu mana hujan jadi macam bila macam kata apa dia tak tahu isu semasa, but then dia pun uh, tak tahu what will happen to them if the company changes ataupun the company restructures. So sebab tu dia macam takut biarlah biarlah aku kat sini walaupun gaji kurang ke, walaupun cuti aku sikit ke, tapi kalau boleh biar je lah macam ni. Dah okey dah ha. Itu sifat orang Melayu kan. Easy to feel content. Okay. Eh, orang kata apa in, in some way uh, Bila rasa apa Easy to feel content ni Sangat bagus Sebab Islam kan mengajar Okay You have to Be grateful for whatever you have Okay Memang tak salah kita nak mencari kekayaan Tapi We need to use With the Orang kata apa Allocations of our wealth too Okay Kita channel to the right way of Orang kata apa That brings us closer to God Okay And then habit Kadang-kadang perangai Ada perangai Habit maksudnya macam Mm, sikit-sikit memang kalau ada benda je dia nak dia nak bangkang 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 okey memang tak akan ada room for tolerance ataupun discussion apa semua even hatta kalau dia seorang pun kalau nak ubah pun susah okey kalau nak betul-betul pujuk ni benda tu jadi susah lah maksudnya kena betul-betul pujuk baru dia boleh berubah okey habit and then concern contohnya macam kalau habit ni uh, uh, kalau contohnya macam ada orang kan kalau cakap bahasa berbalik kepada kisah punya apa uh, Photocopies and printing the papers tu There's a employee kalau macam Dia suka print anak-anak dia punya assessment nah, Okay Tak boleh macam tu Dia macam habit macam Abi, Kalau company dah tak nak letak Photocopy uh, machine dekat apa bilik photocopy Macam mana nak print anak aku punya uh, Buku teks ke nak, nak print dia punya nota ke apa ha, Tu dia macam habit macam dia suka guna Utilize the uh, Office punya Official resources Untuk uh, Kegunaan peribadi Okay Bila jadi habit je tu Macam susah nak berubah Okay And then the third reason Is concern over Personal loss Okay risau Dia takut macam Bila Bila Company tu nak masuk Entah apa Nak berubah akan ada macam dia risau Dia punya position will be um, um, Kata apa it, uh, At a stake lah Maksudnya macam uh, Dia punya position tu berada di Di hujung tanduk uh, Telur berada di hujung tanduk So macam sebab tu dia, dia nak berubah Sebab dia takut dia punya uh, Takut dia dibuang kerja ke Takut yang Nanti dia punya gaji diturunkan ke Okay Apa-apa macam tu lah Kadang-kadang in a way it's true Sometimes when a company needs to change Based on the workforce composition They need to um, kata apa, Reduce the workforce Reduce the employees So kadang-kadang sebab tu orang tu Betul-betul rasa macam Ya Allah penatnya Ataupun uh, Ya Allah uh, Tak nak berubah boleh tak Tak nak tak nak change Okay biarlah dekat sini je Walaupun work, work conducive tu Work tu tak tak berapa nak conducive Okay So and then change is not in organization best interest. Ini kalau macam company tu dia nak ber- berubah tapi kan macam everything macam like like you don't need to change pun sebenarnya macam benda lain ada tau but then you don't have to change. Ah uh, that is what we call as uh, kata apa changes is not necessarily needed. 
Okay You buat benda tu macam Actually you don't need to change pun You just need to uh, Plan Okay On how to uh, Reduce the losses ke apa ke Okay sebab Sebab the current technology of production Is already efficient As uh, as already utilized But how you You uh, maximize uh, Ketapa The production In order to make things better uh, Okay Bukan changes Tapi just to Plan Ataupun uh, 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 Buat operation control apa semua Okay So So these are the techniques and you're doing resistant to uh, organization change okay apa yang manager boleh buat okay based on the kalau macam ah uh, kata apa uh, banyak teknik contohnya education and communication okay slow talk dengan pekerja okay and then beri didikan kalau kita berubah company ni tengoklah awak punya gaji akan naik kita punya waktu kerja pun walaupun panjang tapi awak kat rumah tak buat kerja ah ha, macam itulah benda-benda macam tu okey didik orang kata apa uh, uh, apa ilmu membaca tu jangan mata ilmu kan okey uh, imam syafi cakap apa bukan senang apa uh, eh itu bukan imam syafi ni Uh, kan ada peribahasa Bukan senang nak senang Bukan susah nak susah So kita kena dididik Supaya kita tahu ilmu tu Janganlah kita Taklid ataupun Follow membabi buta ha gitu So and then participation Employees apa Participation When resistors have the expertise To make contribution You panggil The resistors tu cakap dia Apa kata Instead of you Resisting to the change In an organization How about you contribute Tengok macam mana Will this be effective to you or not? Ah, ha, itu kita kena panggil. Okay, and then facilitation and support negotiation. Okay, bincang antara the company and the labor union. If if a company wants to lay off some of its workers, berapa pampasan ataupun compensation nak bagi dekat laid off workers? Ah, ha, kena discuss apa semua tu. Baru rasa sampai uh, kata sepakat. Okay, and then manipulation and cooptation. Manipulate maksudnya macam Uh, Seko sikit lah Seko sikit-sikit je Okay Last kali Coercion tu paksaan Dan betul-betul Kau follow Tak nak follow Kalau kau follow kau, Kalau kau follow bagus Tak nak follow Kau belah pada company ni ha, Itu Itu macam kuku besi punya Pemerintah lah Ataupun uh, Top managers Okay So these are the techniques And reducing distance To organisation change And then the rest You can read on your own lah Alright Okay so Oh habis Habis dah uh, Organisation change Okay So this one topic will be covered maybe in your mid semester exam nanti later I will tell you lah okay so that's all for chapter number 5 um uh, managing change uh, and innovation okay so terima kasih banyak banyak I see you on next class assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh okay